All right. So we're going to test out the Rio Link Duo 2 today. You know, we do a lot with the Rio Link peeps. Uh, they sent us the camera for the front uh, at the dock and for the back trail. So they get, you know, we use that to get a lot of time lapse footage of the pond filling up, things like that. So the cool thing about this is it's two cameras in one. Uh, I never had the original, but from what I've been able to find out, it seems like uh, you had a line divide in the middle sometimes and some things like that. But with this, new improved, night has night vision. It blends the two cameras per, uh, perfectly. Uh, SD card on the bottom. Works over Wi-Fi or if you have a cable, you can tie it into your network. We're going to do it Wi-Fi. Ultimately, I'll have it on the network because I have plenty of network capabilities. But I want to uh, do the testing and show everybody on Wi-Fi and see how it does. So let's get at it. All right, so there's a couple ways. Like I said, you can power this deal. You can just power it with a little, what we call a wall wart, but a little wall transformer. Or if you have a uh, network switch that has power over ethernet, you can do that. The instructions say that the power, the uh, power injectors, the ones that you plug in at your network switch and they inject power over ethernet aren't strong enough. Uh, but I'm just gonna play around with this. I'm gonna mount it in here where I can keep an eye on James, see what he's doing. <laughs> and uh, I, I feel like this side is probably gonna capture the garage and that side is gonna capture the driveway and gets more, more covers there. So we'll see how it does. So we'll see the video popped up. Took two seconds to install it. I said this isn't where it's gonna live permanently. Uh, my one tested out, you'll see the video. I took a, uh, recorded my screen. So that's the actual video, the way it showed on my phone. No enhancements, nothing, it's just how it is. Uh, so you can check that out. Tonight I will get night footage, see how that does. And uh, there you go. As you saw when I was walking around, there was no discernible difference when I went from the right lens to the left lens. It just acts just like one big wide angle camera. Now they sell, for years they've done fisheye cameras which do something similar, but they distort the image and it looks all weird. So this is a great solution. One camera seems to me to be the price of one camera, but you get the same as two cameras, which is a great spot to put this would be like on a corner. Uh, Cause then you could get, you know, going down one side and the other, like you would normally have to do with two cameras or PTZ. So yeah. Where are you going? Are you attacking me? Are you trying to steal stuff? Are you here for the stuff off here? So when you come on to the duo screen, this is what you first see when you open up the app. You can hit the playback button and it will come up with videos that it's recorded. Then you can play one of those back. The cellular data is talking about is because I'm not on the Wi-Fi at the moment. So it does take a second, that's not too bad. 
All right, so that's video that it's recorded. Then something you can do, so you can you know go anywhere on the calendar that it has recording. It'll be bold instead of being grayed out. And choose that. And if you want to listen to the sound, you just hit the little speaker button. Also, you can choose what level you want it to come back at. Low, clear, fluent. So fluent, it kind of looks and says, what's the data speed available to me right now? It makes the best of it. Also, you can choose um, clear, and you'll get the best picture, but it uses the most data when you play it back. If you're just going to take... You know, like I do, for the most part, I go around and take the SD cards out so I can then download them and use them in the videos. So I want the, the so I always set mine to clear because I want the best video, you know, so, and then, and I'm running large SD cards, so the space doesn't matter to me. Now up here, let's see, you can hit that button and turn it. You can uh, go there to record if it wasn't recording. Okay, so then you have the little setting icon up in the top here. And it opens up and it tells you, so when I put the card back in, see I put in the 32 gig card that came with it and I've used up nine of it, but I'm gonna pop it out today and clear it out. It shows you the network it's on and go in, then you can check your quality you know, what resolution you're at, frame rate, frame rate mode, stuff like that. Anti-flicker, you can adjust that some. You, I haven't had that problem with this. You'll see in from the dock camera, uh, when I'm doing the time lapses, you get, a, you get some flickers and change that. You can turn the watermark off so that when I would post the videos, you wouldn't see it says Rio Link. Uh, I keep that on because they've been good to me, so... You know, I don't see a reason not to hide, just leave it on there. Now, there's this function called the privacy mask. If you can take that, so if there was something in this view and I didn't want that area to be recorded, you can mask that out. This comes in handy when you've got a neighbor close and part of the camera would see on their property and they complain about it and you're like, hey, I can mask this off. Uh, sensitive information, um, I mean, any reason that you don't want a space recorded, you can do that. Um, you can also do that for your um, for your motion areas. So if you don't want it to, let me go in here. Let's see, device volume detection alarm. So you can change all that if you want it to um, set an alarm if it detects motion. You can have to turn the lights on when it detects motion because it's got lights built into it. Um, it has a siren that you can turn on when it detects motion. Uh, email alerts, it can email you. Uh, time lapse is pretty cool. So that's how when you see that I've done uh, in the rainstorms with the lake uh, coming up some, that's where you set that. And it's got these built-in settings or you can customize and you just say, you know, when you want to start it, how long you want it to go for, how often you want the interview intervals, uh, what quality you want, and file type. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what's in advance. Use them record audio if you don't want to record audio. Infrared lights. Uh, you know, that's where you saw in the video where it would, would go black for a second when light had cut off out. External lights had cut off and then it switched over to night vision. So you can do that or have it off the spotlight. Turn that on how bright that is. So lots and lots of functions in here. Uh, you can talk to the people. So let's see. Let's go in here. Play with say your data. This should be live. James Brown, get to work. Name one talk. We got. Are you doing anything? See, he's looking around for me.
<laughs> Don't cuss on my video, boy. <laughs> I thought one of your damn props and stuff was getting it back. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. So that's how all that works out. And uh yeah, that's it. Alright, come on, dog dog. Oh yeah, dog dog's having a holiday. So she's over at the doggy daycare, as we call it her friends and I should have got some video of when we tell her because she goes nuts so I'll look and see if they posted any uh, picture of her she usually has a really good time Good morning. <clears throat> you can come on. Oh, whatever. Mr. Blue Heron is already here. If you look at the feeder, just to the right of it on the other side of the pond. standing up down there huh? 
Maybe order dirt and fill it in. Yeah, that's a lot of dirt. This is an overflow, you know, retention pond for the neighborhood. I don't know when it was put in. I don't know when they originally dug it in 2006, because the neighborhood was set up before the crash and then nothing happened for years. So our property line comes right through here. So they put it, uh, there's the pipe, which is still on their land, but it just, dumps right out here so Chris and I looked at it and came up with a couple ideas so the water will that'll go across so we're either gonna put a pipe in under the road here and then stack some more rocks like they did a long time ago and the water will run on under and go into there because eventually this feeds into the big pond because the overflow for that pond which you know, hasn't been needed in a long time, but it flows through there. So all that, I'll show you when I walk around. This all ends up, I'll show you where it ends up. We don't mind that, because that catches a decent amount of water during rain. So you see, our property goes to here. See that line through there? The whole property's kind of a little cantilevered. Levered. I mean, it's straight lines, which is nice, but it's, here through there but we'll put the fence right through here had to put up the no trespassing sign actually made friends with a couple people in here but there were some other people that would use this as access that's the tree that fell over during in so we cut that up Rest your tracks. A little deer too. Tons of rocks out here in this part. This is good info for you to keep in mind if you're gonna buy some property, it doesn't matter what size it is. And you're gonna do a lot of work. It takes a while to get it looking beautiful. You're gonna have debris, rocks, and sticks, and you gotta grow grass and yada yada. Yeah, somebody out flying early this morning. Let's see who it is. And da -da. 2,500 feet, 81 knots. Left from RDU. It's a little piper. <laughs> it's been doing loop-de-loops around places. If I built it smaller before already. <laughs> but it was set at 40. What's up? Why do you think I got something? Is that supposed to... I'm sorry, do I need to bring... You want me to start carrying treats with me? Huh? Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, well, you just want to play. You're like a dog. Ah, that hurt. Ah. What you doing? Man, you should have been bobbing and weaving. Look at you. 
You bobbing and weaving? Do I taste good? You hit the same spot almost every time. You're pretty good. Yeah, you are. Here, you can be part of my morning video. I'll bring you back out here. I'll even get you some tweet. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's your day. You get to be started today. Yeah, we need a stand in. You ready? Okay. Don't chicken out. All right, I'll teach you how to drive. You ready? Think you can handle it? I think you got it. Okay, come on. Did you have fun? Here's your friend. There you go. <laughs> I can't keep up with that many. So, I will contact my neighbors today. Say, hey, we got some eggs. And we'll give some eggs away. And then, as, as you notice, <laughs> we don't grow anything. Ugh. And my neighbors all grow blueberries, squash, cucumbers, peppers, all kinds of stuff. So they'll bring us those and give us those. So it's a barter program out here. You kind of take care of everybody. So. We're the, we're the egg suppliers. We slacked off for a while, not collecting like we should, while we got little babies running around. Uh, but we're back in force now, so I pick up daily, and I said I'll give a, give a call to some of the neighbors and uh, see who needs what. So that's what you gotta do. Neighbors helping neighbors. What? I'm, it's, it's your mama. You talk to her. I'll let you outside. You want to go outside and run around? Go ahead. Oh, well, come on. Well, come on. Come on. All right. Don't say I didn't give you the opportunity. <laughs>